I'm out and about again, approaching what I think, I think it's called Victoria Park. Taking a lot of a wonder today. Uh, kind of fits in today. Well, what I'm planning to do today with uh, what today is. Today is the Armistice Day, Remembrance Day. Um, I thought I'd take the opportunity to do a little bit of remembering on my own. Uh, to come to kind of this area where you could call it a little bit of my old stomping ground again. If you see over there, it's Pentland. See your Pentland Avenue and Pentland Crescent over that way. That's where my grandmother used to live. You can see actually in the distance, uh, quite far in the distance, uh, the Law Hill. You can see there. Here I am in the park, this is Victoria Park, it's got it on the board, uh, down there when it came in Greater Balgay. Uh, this is, you can see that uh, here. I believe this is the park we used to come with, um, we used to come sometimes, we used to come up here when my grandmother had a small dog called Gary, which when I was very, very young, and she had that. We used to come up and walk him, just kind of walk him around a, around a little bit, and then kind of uh, just play the usual, you know, throw him a stick and everything like that. So that was when I was very young. I'm sure you come up here for walks and that. Um, many times you can see the nice view from there you can see the you, know, you can you might be able to see it just a bit over you can really see the the nice view here you can see the bank so out to the river Tay you can see Park here. It's nice and quiet today. It's a Saturday, obviously. So uh, it's a bit of a chilly November morning. Barely still morning. Just come up to a half eleven now. Not that it matters really, but. This is the park. So I did just wander up a little bit here because I do want to show you um, a little bit more. Yeah. I'm going to head now to Pentland Crescent, uh, Pentland Avenue kind of way uh, where she actually used to live for many many years and check out see what it looks like now. I'm back on the move out of the park and I'm heading up Pendlin Avenue. Oh. Heading up towards Pendlin Crescent. Uh, this is the area where my grandmother lived, somewhere around here. Um, I'm not entirely sure of which house actually it was. It's been that many years. Uh, she passed away 17 years ago. She lived this he here for many years, many, many years, until around the mid-1990s and so uh, then she moved to Scott Street 
um, and then into a couple of care homes eventually but uh, so this is Pentland Crescent Wait a second. So this is Pentland Crescent I said I'm not sure entirely which one of these houses it was. I don't remember I think it might have been one more it might have been one more um tier up because there's several tiers. There's one there you can see one of them uh standing on I think there's one more, but I think it might have been this one. Uh where she lived. Um I'm not sure actually entirely, but it's it's roughly where she lived. I don't I don't want to pick out exact houses anyway, because uh, you can see they're all secured these days uh, due to various problems. People um, going in the closes, uh, as we call them in, here in Scotland. Uh, there were several problems with people go, um, going in and out of them. Uh, so many of them have these secure doors nowadays. See, I'm not entirely sure which one, but you can get the general idea here. I'm not sure. So I do remember. You can't think, I don't know. You can. You can't really see it on on that one. I think. I don't know whether you can see it. The lights a bit bright on the screen to see it. Can you really see where that crack of light is. Now there's actually a back garden in there we used to play in here. So I'm not entirely sure which area, um, or which house it was, uh, if I'm honest. I'm not entirely sure. But this is the general, certainly the general area. I'm getting a feeling it might be the second tier. Uh, I don't know in front of me. Penland Avenue so but certainly this is the this is definitely the area whether it be the second or third tier I'll uh, take a walk up one more tier but I can still remember it was on, uh, uh, coming around the bend when we were coming here and uh, you can see kind of over if you see over there Houses, I don't want to disturb people. If you actually uh, go to pretty much the top floor of some of these houses, you get an amazing, you can kind of get a nice view of the kind of River Tay and the Tay Road Bridge. We actually have some film of apparently of the view. Uh, the, we actually have apparently we apparently have some film of the view from my grandmother's house. Uh, they're all kind of like flats in here. Uh, there wasn't certain ones here, uh, but suddenly we've got. I don't know what it is about the birds today. The birds are very noisy today. I noticed that at home before I came out. Lots of bird noise today. I don't know, a couple of places where we stopped. Uh, there's several, a lot of bird noise today. I don't know, is it that time of year or something? But certainly, again, I don't want to disturb anybody. Let's take a quick look at uh, this is the general area. You see, these houses are pretty much the same with the, the stone on them. But I think it was that second tier. I used to get a good view of some. I don't know whether you can see that. There's a plane going right across. Uh, you probably can't see that there's a plane going right across there, but uh, there was anyway. Uh, you probably can't see it really hugely, but you can actually get a good view of across the River Tay on a like, clear day like this. So I'm just going to leave. 
So I'm just going to leave now. Um, you can get the general idea. I'm not entirely sure what house it actually was. But you get the general idea. Uh, you can get the general idea. You can see the stack. Uh, lucky stack from uh, here as well when I turned the corner there. Uh, you can probably see it. You can kind of uh, probably didn't see that quite, but you can tell Dundee is actually quite a, it's a very small city. A lot of things are in quite close proximity, um, which I'm sure surprises some visitors or, or that. While I'm here and while I'm near here, because I walked out this way deliberately, I'm going to take a look at the nearest the local church. I think it's called the City Church or something nowadays. Um, but I'm going on. I'm going on to. So what? In traffic here? No, no, you can't see any. <laughs> a couple of cars moving about. You but careful on these streets. There's a multitude of ways that these can go. And, you know, and all the ins and outs and. So I think I wander in the corner, but that's where my uh, anyway, that's where my grandmother lived for many, many years, uh, until like you said, there was someone in the mid, say around about the mid 1990s. It has to be about that. Um, she le then lived in Scott Street for a while, and then uh, went in a couple of care homes where she eventually passed away. Uh, 17 years ago now. So um, I will. I've had the kind of feeling of going coming up to this area for a while. Just haven't had the opportunity to do so. Okay, so I'm wandering kind of around to the church now. I do want to point out um, there's a few shops there. Uh, you can see there uh, a few shops. We used to visit my gran on a regular, mostly on a Sunday. Um, I don't know what other people are, are like, but we used to visit my gran on a Sunday a lot. We could go a couple of times a week, depending on uh, things, obviously. But certainly when I was younger, Sundays was the regular day that we were around here in Pentland. Um, we would come down. My dad would, my dad would either give us a lift here, or if he was busy work uh, or working or whatever, then we'd get the bus. I think it's only like the th I want to say thirty two, but I don't think that wasn't it. Uh, but we used to get a chip shop, and th those uh, those shops there. I think there's some can look like some takeaway if that's even open. Um, kind of boarded up a little bit or maybe just steal shutters down for the night uh, until this evening but there used to be a fish I think it was there used to be a chip shop takeaway uh, in other words for people don't know what chip is uh, chip shop one of the best palm fritters I had when I was growing up was from there loved it that Luigi's and the deep sea Luigi's is still open, um, it's so long uh, the South Martin Road. It's, it's it used to be a sit-in now a sit-in place as well, but various things. Uh, I heard different stories. Uh, they're now just I think mo I think they are just takeaway. Um, but that and obviously the deep sea is not open anymore. Uh, that closed down a couple of years ago now and it's another restaurant now so I'm going down to the city church
So there's the church behind me. Uh, on many family occasions in this place. Many family occasions. Obviously. Might as well take a quick bit of video of it. I'm trying to also again not to disturb people but you can see it here. So that's the city church behind me. A lot of people mulling about so I can't really get a great video of it. Uh, there's some craft fair on but um, I think you can kind of see it behind me there. You can see it behind me there anyway. Um, craft fair. Not somebody's button stuck. And I'm just going to wander around. I don't want you to think this is, this is a sad vlog. Uh, it's actually because that's where I actually had the funeral service from my grandmother as well. Uh, I'm just going to wander down here and wander towards. I think it will just take me towards the city centre kind of way. I'm making my way into the town and I've came down to show you this sculpture. I think it's just stone but it's engraved with uh, various Dundee related photographs. You have Mary Slessor, you have various uh, symbols, different things. It's three, kind of like whale one it is. I think it's just stone, but uh, you can see different uh, Dundee related symbols, the discovery, Ur up there you can see a Celtic cross there as well, and you can see various others, Battle of Camper Down, and some of it. It looks fairly neglected and dirty and a bit vandalised with some uh, graffiti on it. Probably better see that by kind of. But it's difficult to see in this light because it's going to have a strong light today. I'm hoping you can see that better than I, uh, than I can see it on the screen. But you can see uh, in the black watch. Is that Black Watch or something? Yes, Black Watch. I thought it was, there it says underneath Black Watch. Some of the local regiment. Uh, see the tail rail, but these are excellently done actually. Carved into them and... Then you got a... Kind of a, a kind of bar chart of maps where... How far away things are. Kind of sent from the centre of Dundee. You can see a nice dragon there as well. I think that may be the... I'm not sure whether that's the city crater or what, what it is exactly. But, you can see it again. I'll let you see it. It's, it's all uh, three, you know. I've made my way the rest of the hill down Guthrie Street uh, just past the Grosvenor Casino, Duke's Corner uh, and uh, various things like that I do want to show you while I'm down here Bass Street
so I'm standing in Bass Street. I think this is the shortest street in the city. I think it's next to the Grosvenor Casino. You can see there this quite a good looking building actually. I like, I like how it looks okay. What well, a kind of factory uh, buildings round about. You can see it leads just leads on to the to their car to the car park. But I know this is a public area so there's Bath Street uh, from the Vino. So I thought I'd just show you Bath Street while I'm down in this area. Uh, I thought I'd just show you it. I talked on a previous video recently about last updates and um, about the Maggie's Penguin Parade. This was uh, one of the places that hosted one of the Urwilly statues of the Bucket Trail last year. It was actually the ideal place to put Dennis the Menace. So Dennis was placed here. The Urwilly as Dennis the Menace was placed here um, for people to find. <laughs> 